Hey, everybody. Welcome back to What's New in Android. Uh, At first, we'll start with distribu okay. distribution. Uh, you saw in the keynote, we introduced the dynamic app bundles. Uh, Tor's demo was pretty clear. It's pretty easy for you. All you have to do is click a different menu when you build your application. And we're going to save you some space. It's going to be faster and easier to download for your users to download your app. Uh, let's talk about Android Jetpack. This is a set of components as well as guidance on how to build better Android applications. All of you are familiar with most of what is in Android Jetpack already. What we're doing is adding to it over time with stuff that's going to make it even better. And we're also improving it over time. One of the major steps that we're taking is what I like to think of as a refactor, because it's a refactor. We're doing a whole lot of tedious renaming. And we're also providing tools to make it easier for you to do the similar refactoring that you're going to need to do in your application, as well as in Android Studio. Uh, everything is being renamed to something more appropriate called Android X. Jetpack architecture is about the architecture components that were announced last year at I.O. and then iterated with feedback from the community and finally went 1.0 in the fall. Work Manager is currently in preview. There's going to be a talk about it. Also, navigation. It turns out that up versus back is a hard problem for applications to solve. We are making that much easier, and we're integrating with the tool to make it even easier yet. Uh, Kotlin, uh, it's this little thing we announced last year. So we're busy. We want to make it better for all the Kotlin developers out there. I'm sure there's a lot of you here today. Uh, so some of the things we've been doing, the art team has been really busy with D8, R8, and art itself. They've been looking at the bytecode generated by the Kotlin compiler. They've analyzed some of the bytecode patterns that were different from the ones generated by the Java programming language compiler. Uh, and they they've, op they've been optimizing for those patterns. Uh, we've also been adding a lot of uh, nullability annotations to our Java APIs, both in the core libraries, so libcore and our support libraries, uh, to make it easier for you to use the uh, platform APIs when you're, when you're in Kotlin. Uh, and finally, we launched on uh, GitHub a new library called Android KTX. It's a set of, of uh, Kotlin extensions for existing platform APIs. And the goal here is to try to take advantage of some of the Kotlin language features to make existing APIs easier to use. They're already easier to use just by using Kotlin. But with the extension, they get even better. So Slices is our new approach to remote content that you can actually use to project UI into your own app or into other apps that support it. Uh, it's very structured. Uh, this is not sort of here's a canvas or an absolute layout. Go nuts with it. Um, we give you uh, a, a structure to fill out and a whole bunch of very flexible templates in which to populate that data with some display hints so that the receiving end of the slice, the slice host, kind of knows what to do with it. These are interactive. These are updatable. This is meant to be something that holds rich UI, sliders, controls, live information, possibly videos, things that actually feel like real UI as opposed to a snapshot of something happening in a distant process somewhere. Slices are addressable by content URI. And this is how they're passed around the system, uh, and how they're passed along to app indexing to be shown in con contexts like search. Uh, and then finally, uh, Slices is entirely inside the support library. Uh, it's entirely in Jetpack. So it's backwards compatible. You can use Slices all the way back to API 19. Related to Slices is Actions. You can think of these as uh, shortcuts with parameters. Roman likes to think of them as visible intents. This is essentially a deep link into your app with some additional payload. It's not just a link to music. It's a link to a particular album or something like that. And you saw these as well in the keynotes showing up in a predictive space inside our app launching experience. Um, actions you define in an Actions XML file that goes into your APK or app bundle. Uh, and that, too, can get registered with app indexing so that uh, search results and predictive features can show those actions. <laughs>